Welcome to the Mobile Fabric Console Overview. In this video, we're going to get familiar with the Mobile Fabric Console. Before we log into the console, I want to show this diagram that illustrates the relationship between backend systems, mobile fabric, and client apps. As you can see on the right of the diagram, we have various backend systems that could be databases, line of business systems like SAP, or traditional SOAP, XML, or JSON services that are exposed inside the enterprise. These services were traditionally created for EDE communication between systems or to end-user web apps, but they were never intended for network-constrained devices like your mobile phone. This is where Mobile Fabric comes in. Mobile Fabric allows you to create new, mobile-optimized APIs exposed to mobile devices as secure, RESTful JSON services using existing enterprise backend systems and data. With Mobile Fabric, I can create new APIs using API management and deploy these APIs as server-based apps into a runtime environment. This makes it easy to track which mobile apps are using which mobile APIs. Mobile Fabric also allows you to easily authenticate users leveraging third-party or social identities or existing enterprise identity providers such as Active Directory, SiteMinder, or OAuth. Mobile Fabric connects your identity services to your integration services simplifying the management of identity providers with the services that they authorize. Additionally, Mobile Fabric provides offline sync, engagement, and object services covered in future tutorials. Finally, the Mobile Fabric console provides everything you need to configure and test new mobile services, as well as providing multiple SDKs to make it easier to create and connect your mobile app to your new services using existing skills and tools. Let's dig into the Mobile Fabric console. As you can see, we started on the dashboard in the center of our screen. The dashboard follows a typical SDLC from design through development and deployment all the way to management. Now, this tutorial isn't going to focus on the details of design, development, and management. These tabs are used if you want to download and work with our Kony MadP products, such as Visualizer, or manage your apps and your devices with Kony's management services. Let's click on the Mobile Fabric tab. From here, we can see the apps we've configured, runtime environments we can deploy to, and the SDKs that are available for platforms such as iOS, Android, PhoneGap, JavaScript, and Kony Studio. Let's also look at this left-hand navigation. It offers us quick links to our server-side apps and API management, our cloud runtimes where we deploy our apps, reports and metrics that tell us how our apps are performing, console settings where we can invite new users to our mobile fabric, as well as additional support documentation. Now this should give you a 50,000 foot view of how to get started inside the console. In our additional tutorials, we will show you how to create new APIs, publish applications to a runtime, and connect native PhoneGap and Studio clients to Mobile Fabric. Please check out developer.coney.com if you need more in-depth documentation as well as post questions to our forums. Thanks again for choosing Coney Mobile Fabric.